On this month's Eye on the Poconos, we visit a fun and safe place for kids to play, learn, and socialize. Pocono Kids Zone in East Stroudsburg opened in 2022 and is proud to offer the area this unique play experience. Join in on the fun here in the Poconos. I love bringing my child. It's a safe space for him. I was a teacher in New York for over 20 years. When I came to the Poconos, I wanted to incorporate my early childhood experience with integrating a place for kids and parents to come because there really wasn't much in the area like this. This is more of an interactive experience where the parent, they're traveling from room to room with their child, they're engaging with them. I do offer other programs besides just a straight play session. I offer a preschool program, a social club, things for babies under two. I was not aware that it was even here. I go to Food Town all the time and I came and checked it out. I'm so happy that it's here for my little one. There's so much activities to do and he really has developed so much with language and socialization. The idea behind Behind it is to have a place where parents could come and meet other parents as well. So the goal is, of course, to have other children here so that the child is not only interacting with the parent, they're interacting with other children, and then parents start interacting with parents. They'll make a play date and they'll come back, or they'll book a class together, or they'll come to our preschool program together. I love the fact that he's playing with other kids and just trying different toys that he doesn't have at home using his imagination, but I like that I'm able to get out and talk to other moms. That's what's really cool for me. You now we make it part of our routine to get out, socialize, and it's socialization for him and me. Sometimes a mom, this is their only, you know, time out, and when there's another mom here, it's like they feel like they're building a relationship with someone, you know, other than just being at home with their child by themselves. I feel like that allows me to kind of shine in my area of expertise. Once I stepped in here for the first time, I was like, okay, this is what I can do, and I kind of just envisioned the whole thing. Seven different rooms, and each room has different things going on. I have a dramatic playroom where children can dress up and pretend to be lots of different things. There's a store. They come in, they're wheeling around the shopping cart. They get into it, you know. I have a ball pit, which is always a crowd favorite. Parents tend to like to come in here as well. And then I have a soft play room, which is more geared towards like smaller kids, babies. I have a climbing room, which is the playground part of the indoor playground. I also have a sports room. A lot of times the dads get lost in the sports room. I have a painting room. This is that sensory zone. You could just kind of hang in there in the beanbag chair and chill out for a little bit if you need to. I do also do a lot of events and activities for children with special needs. I am a special needs parent and there was always a lack of activities for my children. If you look at it at face value, most people say, oh, you're for little kids. Have I had 12-year-olds in here that absolutely love it? Yes. I always suggest people take a look, come in person, or just look at the website. It kind of just is really dependent on the child. It's not a rough play place. Like, that's not what we're doing here. We limit, you know, capacity. It's manageable, and that's what I think parents say about it, and that's one of the things I think they like about it. Learning happens through play. I know that from being a preschool teacher for half my career, I give kids the choice of a lot of different activities and that's how they learn. I'm very anti-screen time. I actually have a sign that says, you know, like parents put down your phone. You're not going to learn to share and you're not going to learn conflict resolution and you're not going to learn creative thinking. Like that's not all happening, you know, with an iPad in front of you. So playing is very important and this is a great place for them to do that. Well, my son has been coming for a few months now with his grandparents, but today's my first day accompanying him. They're there's definitely a lot to do and he's been showing me the ropes of every room so he's really excited to be showing me for the first time. I love the Poconos. I love the scenery. I love the peacefulness. You know, you kind of shape your community and what your community is going to be. And I think it's important for small businesses to support one another, which is something that I try to do. I want to make it better. Definitely a good hidden gem here. We look forward to seeing you for an eye appointment at Stroudsburg Eye Specialist real soon. We are located right behind Friendlies in Tannersville. Thank you for watching Eye on the Poconos. See you next time.